People have asked me over the years whether I've ever taken steroids. Well, the answer is no, I have not taken steroids. First of all, you can tell by looking at me that I've never taken steroids. The amount I work out, I would be so much bigger had I taken anabolic steroids or human growth hormone. Number two, I'm not saying this to be judgmental, just sharing what I have done or haven't done in my own life. I've never drank alcohol. I've never smoked. I've never eaten an edible. I don't even like taking like Advil for headaches. I'd rather just drink water and take a nap or something. I know a lot of people think that's boring and heck, maybe it is, but that's just me. I'm not here to judge you if you do any of those things. I'm merely sharing what I have done or haven't done in my own life. So the idea of taking steroids doesn't work for me because unless it can be naturally found in a food source, I tend to want to stay away from it. All I've ever taken when it comes to supplements is a multivitamin, protein powder, pre-workout sometimes, and creatine, which all can come from food sources. Creatine is found naturally in food as well. The only reason I even decided to take some creatine is because I don't eat a lot of the food sources that it's naturally sourced in, like red meat. I don't eat a lot of fish. I don't eat a lot of animal products in general uh, versus your average person. Creatine is something your body can use as a fuel source, one of the three sources, which would be another fit tip entirely. Protein powder, you get that in food. I just don't eat a lot of foods that are naturally high in protein because I don't eat a ton of animal products. So protein powder is a way for me to, to fill that gap. Uh, in regards to caffeine, I had never even had a cup of coffee until I was 27, which means I filmed all of Power Rangers, by the way, without having caffeine, which was ridiculous. And most importantly, I have been working out for a good 15, 16 years. I mean, a long time. I didn't just wake up with muscles one day. I put in the work. And that's not to say people who do steroids or other stacking regimens aren't working out hard. You still have to put in the work. You can't just take something and be muscular. I've been working out about five to six days a week for literally the past 15 years to get to where I'm at. Someone who's on steroids could probably hit that same goal within like a year or two. And it's not to say they don't have to put in the work. They do, but steroids let them recover quicker between workouts so they can lift heavier and more volume every work. Again, if you see someone who's really buff in the movies, there is a potential they may have been on steroids. So again, I'm not here to judge them. I'm just merely sharing that I will never get as big as them with my genetics without going on steroids myself. A lot of my training has been body weight or calisthenic training, by the way. I've only recently really started focusing on weightlifting. Not that you can't get stronger and bigger from calisthenics, but weightlifting tends to make it easier. Uh, it's really only until recently where I'm doubling someone on a project who is slightly bigger than me muscular wise that has made me want to put on a little more size. But typically I just work out acrobatically and whatever size I am is the size I am. TLDR, never done steroids, never plan on taking them. Not here to judge people who do, I just don't. Make sure you like this video if you wanna see more fit tips.